NumPy also has a group of relational and logical operations or operators. They are operators and functions which return true or false values. So for that reason, they can be used in conditions or conditional statements for different purposes. For example, let's start by the by element relational operators. As we saw before, by element operators work on corresponding elements, element by element. So the similar thing here with the relational operators. So if we say A equals to B, so it will give us this result. So we know that elements of A are not equal to B, every corresponding element except the element 6 or the third element in the sequence. So this is the opposite, not equal. And so on. Now the function any is the at least one function. That means if the condition is true for at least one situation or one position, it will return true. For example, any a equals to b, it's true. Any a larger than 6, it's false because there's no any element larger than 6. But if we try any element larger than 5, it's true because we have one element, 6, is larger than 5. Similarly, we can say if any element larger than 0, of course it's true because there are three elements in A larger than 0. So at least if the condition is satisfied for one element, it will return true. The opposite is the all function because it requires that the all elements satisfy the condition. For example, true because all elements a are less than or smaller than 7. But if we try 6, it is false. So although all elements other than 6 are smaller than 6, but 6 equals to 6, so in this case it is false. So all requires that the all elements satisfy the condition. In NumPy, we cannot apply or use the logical operators and or not from Python. So we have to use the condition of logical and, logical or, and logical not in this way. In this statement, we combined two conditions. We requested the elements which are larger than 0 and less than 6. From A, we see that 2 and 1 satisfy both conditions together because this is the AND logical operator or logical function. Let's try OR. This is wider because we are asking for all elements larger than 0 or less than 6, which actually covers all elements. If we try NOT, so these are the, the elements which are not in the range of A larger than 0 and A less than 6. So it's returned the values 0 itself, minus 4 and 0 again. Finally, we have the by element test functions. Those functions, they test element for specific value. For example, if we want to check if the 
element is infinity so we can make this operation mp is inf a so as you see it returned that only the second element is equal to infinity while other values are not you should notice that the fourth element is one over infinity which is mathematically zero that's why it is not infinity there's another function called is finite if we try mp is finite okay we see that we have two elements are not finite the infinity and not a number n a n is not a number which is a result of the division of infinity over infinity so we can say is than a and you'll see all values are numbers the last one is uh, not a number so these are to check if especially in the large uh, arrays or large matrices to know if they contain any values of infinity or infinite or not number values